in. My pick for today is a PH gas hood or gas helmet. Uh, this first issued to British Commonwealth troops after the gas attack in April of 1915. This will be the main sort of gas protection for Commonwealth troops up until the introduction of the box respirator. These things uh, will not give a whole lot of protection as in comparison to a box respirator, but they do save uh, countless lives. But the interesting thing about this too is even when the box respirator comes in, they just don't throw these things away. You can see in footage, photographs, stretcher bears sometimes carrying a box respirator for themselves, and you can sometimes see they'll have a couple of these things slung over their shoulder to kind of put on people if need be, I think, right? This particular example in the museum's collection belonged to a young man born in Yarmouth, but who enlisted in a Calgary uh, battalion, the 10th Battalion, uh, Captain Forrest Arthur Ladd. So you can see up here on the top, his initials are placed in there, and at the same time you can see the original sort of uh, eye sort of really plastic sort of eye section here has been is broken away with age. But again, this is a bit of an improvement from some of the original ones that have a circular kind of disc eye. Uh, but again, this is your main gas protection. This would be very quickly taken out of a bag. You'd open your collar, try to tuck that in, and tune, tune your tunic up tight so you'd have a good fit. So this is an amazing sort of piece of the early war. And again, Mr. Uh, where Captain Ladd survived the war and returned to Canada, and we hope to have a, a full life afterwards.